Okay, guys. Um, so I'm gonna be doing the a book collective haul um, of books I purchased um, during these past few months or weeks. And yeah, so I'm gonna start with um with hardcovers first, and I'm gonna go move on to my series and then my my series paperback and then my non-series paperbacks so here we go so the first one I got was Nicholas Sparks the lucky one and it's if you guys haven't heard of the movie it's about this book it's based on this book and here's the all in the back and then the sleeves I got this from a thrift store. I think it cost me like 50 cents. So if you guys want good books, look at the thrift stores because they have like Goodwill. Like I've heard Goodwill has good ones, but I've never seen any good ones on Goodwill. Or your vintage stores, basically. So it says, over a decade, Nicholas Sparks has captured readers with stories that explore the profound, smears, the profound mysteries of the human heart. Establishing him as one of the, our most cherished novelists. Now his new book, He Restores Our Belief in Destiny, delivering a stunning tale about a man whose brushes with death lead him to the love, love of his life. So originally it was like $24.99, and I got this for like a dollar. And then the next one is Peter and the Star Catchers by David Barry and Riley Peterson and it's at the back it says it has their the authors and it says Peter blinked his eyes there was no question the rat was suspended in space as if hanging from the string but there was no string mm, I want to read this I got this it's originally $18 in the US and in Canada it's $24.99 but I got it for one fifty. You can see it right there. One fifty. So for my series, I've already read these books because I got them from the library a long time ago. So here it goes. Um, City of Bones by Clarissa. What is it? Um, Cassandra Clare. Sorry, Clarissa Cassandra. And it says, the hidden world is about to be revealed. 15-year-old Claire, Clary, I say Clary or Claire, Claire Frey heads to the Pan Pandemonium Club in New York City. She hardly expects to was, uh, she hardly expects to witness a murder, much less a murder committed by three teenagers covered in strange tattoos. So, it's about Nephilim, basically. If you don't know what Nephilim is, then you should read this book. Um, the second one is City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. It's the second book to the Moral Instruments series. The second book to this one. And it follows the same tale. And then, after this book, I've already read this, the third one. It's The City of Glass. But I haven't gotten it yet because I haven't found it cheap. But I got these both for like eight dollars at Walmart. So that's how much like cheap it is. I haven't seen these in thrift stores, so I wouldn't know. And the third one is the prequel to this series, the Mortal Instruments series. It's the Infernal Devices, Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. It says magic is mis is ugh. sorry, magic is dangerous, but love is more dangerous still. When Tessa Gray crosses the ocean to find her brother in Victorian London, something terrifying is waiting for her in London's downworld. Kidnapped by the mysterious Dark Sisters, who are members of the secret organization called the Pandemonium Club, Tessa soon learns that she has the power to transform into another person. The Magister, a shadowy figure who runs the club, will stop at nothing to claim Tessa's power for his own. Friendless and haunted, Tessa takes refuge with the Shadow Hunters, warriors dedicated to rid the world from demons. She soon finds herself fascinated by and torn between two best friends, James and Will. 
As Tessa is drawn deep into the plot that threatens to destroy the Shadow Hunters, she realizes that she may need to choose between saving her brother and helping her new friends save the world. And that love may be the most dangerous magic of all. It's a good book. I'm on like, I'm like right there. So I'm almost done with this, and I I don't want to be done with it because I really love this book. And um, the this now I'm gonna go with the non-series books. I got a teen study Bible. So basically, it's like just a regular old Bible. So I like list like it's I'm religious somewhat. But when I am religious, I just go in the Bible. Um, this, well, how many, I don't know how many books there is, but. The next book is Hush Hush by Becca Fitzgerald, Fitzpatrick Fitzgerald. I'm really pissed off with this book. I like it, I love it, I love it, I just finished it in a day. But I got this for like 10 bucks at Barnes & Noble. And yesterday I went to Walmart. Excuse me. And I found it for five bucks. I'm like, what the hell? I could have saved five bucks if I just went to Walmart. But whatever. And then I have Divergent by Veronica Roth. It's a really hefty book, but I finished it in like two days. One and a half. It's a really, really good book. One choice decides your friends. One choice defines your beliefs. One choice determines your loyalties forever. One choice, one choice can transform you. So yeah, I can't. I, I've, I've been wanting the second one, but I'm gonna wait until it comes out on paperback because it's cheaper. Or I'll wait till somebody throws it away and puts it in the thrift store pile, which I hope that they do. Cause it's legit. And now I'm gonna do after the day. So. For my eyes, I basically have the same thing I always have, is black eyeliner on top, black liquid liner, and then my I did my eyebrows, and then black eyeliner on bottom lids, and then um, foundation, what is my foundation? Revlon Color Stay for dry, dry, dry and sensitive skin. And then I mixed it with my Dream Matte Mousse foundation because it gives me my ideal tone. Because my tone is, um, it has yellow undertones and I'm fairly like light compared to the rest of me. And my lipstick is, I forgot what my lipstick was, I'm going to look at my, my lipstick is this one. I'm sorry if it's all weird. It's 911 911 for White and Wild. It's like a dollar. And yeah. And then for my shirt it's my James Dean crop top. Oops, sorry. It's a crop top. It's James Dean. I got it at Forever 21 for like $17.99. My jeans. My jeans are just simple black skinny jeans. And then my shoes are these shoes. They're flats. They're just regular old flats with the red bow on top. So yeah, so the first song I had on my on this video was Protect Your Neck by Wu Tang. And the second one that's playing right now is Stairway to Heaven. So for all you guys who wanted to know what the songs were, it's oh my hair. I just um I just let it I just dry my hair, let it dry a little bit, and then I put um, Ozzy Scrunch for the wavy beach, and then I my nails are just black, regular nails. 
and accessories. I just have um just a skull watch and just headbands. That's my look. I'm sorry that it's weird. But that's what I like to wear and see Miss Mr. James Dean right there. Hello, honey. Then I'm gonna make a new YouTube channel and um and just delete this one. Cause I wanna I wanna have a new like username. So I'm gonna I might delete this one. So if you guys, if I just delete it, I'll tell you guys, and then I'll put the new YouTube link up, so then you guys can know where to go and everything. So, I love you guys. Peace, love, and happiness. I forgot, I always used to say peace, love, lacrosse, and I say peace, love, happiness, or I'll just say this. May the darkness be forever in your favor. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I can't do it.